deceive a third of the angels, he brought that same deception to Eve. And that was, you will be like God. The thing that deceived him, I can be like God. Found out that he couldn't. It costed him his place in heaven, and eventually it will cost him his life. Came to Eve and told her the same lie. You eat of this, you will be like God. That's the wisdom. Amen. It's a mystery. That mystery is the mystery of iniquity, Jen. Well, I uh, found this description of the serpent and desire of ages. Yeah, you want to read that? Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, in order to com accomplish his work unperceived, Satan chose to employ as his medium the serpent, a disguise well adapted for his purpose of deception. The serpent was then one of the wisest and most beautiful creatures on the earth. It had wings, and while flying through the air, presented an appearance of dazzling brightness, having the color and brilliancy of burnished gold. Resting in the rich laden branches of the forbidden tree and regaling itself with the delicious fruit, it was an object to arrest the attention and delight the eye of the beholder. Okay, and then on the next day, or the next, uh, um, but the serpent continued in a musical voice with subtle praise of her surpassing, su surpassing loveliness. <laughs> Surpassing, you got that? It was like right, went right up while you were pretty. You know I'm saying? Complimenting and, her. And, and, and flattering. And she, in her perfect state, still made her defenses go down. She was a little naive. Yes. Yes. Now listen, you need to understand that when God made them, just like the angels, they had no idea what sin was. Amen. You understand? We don't understand what perfection was. All right. Okay, so for them to try to figure out evil is for us trying to figure out perfection. Okay, and this is why what God has done for you is so amazing because God is going to place you now when you get it. And Jesus comes back the second time and God places you in his heaven, in his government. You will have and attain to a place higher than the angels. Higher than the angels. You would never have done that if Adam and Eve never sinned. Amen. You understand what God done for you? It's the love of our God. So listen, going back, and this is where I close. <clears throat> going back in chapter 3, it says, The woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, that she could gain a higher level of existence than what she was made. Isn't that what Lucifer wanted? Yes. And isn't that what caused him to be able to deceive a third of those angels because he promised them the same thing? And what he said was that God was holding you back. And what he inferred was that God was a tyrant, that he was a dictator, and he only wanted your love because if you don't love him, he'll destroy you. Ricky? Hey, no. He said we can live without God, basically. Uh, I don't think so. You cannot live without God, even as a sinner, Amen. because every breath is a gift from God. Amen. He didn't want to live without God. He wanted to be like God Amen. and to be equal with Him so that He had enough choice. He wanted to plan B. Okay, Gary? He was also in opposition to the law of God. Yes. Listen, I bring all this to you because I want you to understand the origins of evil. That the story you find in Genesis chapters 1, 2, and 3 is not a fairy tale, it's real. It is the origins of where we came from, who we are, why we're here in 2016 and wondering how the world gets so bad, and where are we going, okay? You have to make the decisions for yourself because science is going to tell you that everything I told you is wrong. Science is going to tell you that what I'm telling you is a lie. Science is going to tell you that I'm ignorant and they're knowledgeable. 
This is what Lucifer told Eve. Satan said, I'm knowledgeable and God's a liar. Listen to me, don't listen to him. Amen. She listened to him, what happened? Do you want to stay like this? Or do you really want to go and become what God has created us to be? The only way to do that is to be faithful to him. Amen. Our closing hymn this morning is number 537.
to worship you, to be with fellow believers, and to put our faith and trust in you. Father, I pray that as this world grows darker and darker, that we as your children will grow lighter and lighter. Father, help us to be witnesses for you. Help us to realize that your word is true and that the origins that is spoken of in your word is where, where we came from. Father, help us to realize that if that's where we came from, where it tells us we're going, is as true as well. Father, I pray that you strengthen us, that you use us, and that your, your coming will be soon. For this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.